Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin, and we are talking about uh, the Naugatuck man who was accused of killing his daughter in court today. Christopher Francis Guini appearing before a judge and a full courtroom in handcuffs. It comes just after his two-week run from police and a dramatic capture. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo is live now in Waterbury with the details. Audrey. Kara, Christopher Francis Guini appeared before a judge here in Waterbury Superior Court, roughly 500 feet away from where he was taken into custody for the murder of his 11-month-old daughter, Camilla. Now, in court this morning, he didn't lift his head. He did not respond to the judge's questions. Prosecutors also say he refused to be fingerprinted and interviewed by the parole department before this morning's hearing. Now, the judge spent as much time talking about the murder charge as he did Francis Queenie's previous outstanding charges. The court noted he has cases out of New Haven, Derby, Bridgeport, and Milford, and prosecutors say he failed to show up to court for many of those cases, making him a flight risk. The judge ultimately opted to hold him on $5 million bond for the murder charge. The lengths to which uh, you went to avoid detection and apprehension, not only in the newer case, but in the other cases that you failed to come to court on in Bridgeport and Milford, uh, where there are now failures to appear pending, I believe a bond of a substantial nature is warranted to protect the public. Francis Queenie was caught on Friday at the Meadow Street bus station here in Waterbury after someone recognized him and tipped off police. Baby Camilla would have turned one year old over the weekend. Several members of the Naugatuck Police Department were in the courtroom this morning wearing pink in Camilla's memory. Now, several protective orders were also issued for Francis Queenie. He's not supposed to have contact with three people. Uh, those people's identities were not revealed in court. Now, he's due back in Waterbury Superior Court for this case on the 21st. Live in Waterbury, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.